Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the SteelSeries Apex 9 keyboard software. We're going to be running you through the lighting features as well as all of the macro features and other things it has going on. So once you install the SteelSeries GG software, you're going to be greeted with this menu. And this menu is basically their overview. There's a lot of social media related things along with giveaways and whatnot. But if you want to go to the actual keyboard settings, what you do is you go to the engine and then here you can see the Apex Apex 9 TKL. Now, if we click on this, it's going to enter the editing macros and shortcuts mode. But if you want to edit the lighting, you have to click the prism button and you can start to play with the lighting effects here. Now, a quick demo on how this works. Basically, there's presets here where you can chase some of their pre-made ones. And then you can see that it's actually reflecting this on my keyboard in real life. Then there's like disco mode, color function mode. There's radioactive glow, a bunch of different settings that you can choose from. And then if you want to customize your settings, you go away from the presets menu and instead go on effects and you can choose some here and really start customizing them to the T. And then if you want to save these presets, you go ahead and click the add new and then you can go ahead and add a new lighting setting and I'll just call this one Koba Tech. And now that's our Koba Tech setting. So now if I go to default, I did update it to blue. So now you can see it's blue. And if I do Koba Tech, it's going to be orange. So that's how you customize profiles with the lightings. So let's head back over to the shortcuts menu you, which is where you click the gear button at the top left over here and then click your keyboard. So this is the Apex 9 and a new window pops up that allows us to configure it. So there's a lot going on in this menu and I'll quickly run you through the settings. So firstly, if you click this configs at the bottom left, this opens kind of like your profiles, which game you're running. You can kind of switch the macros and keys based on whatever app or game you're running. I'll go ahead and minimize this for now, just so we have more room. And then what you can do here is firstly, key bindings is where you bind your key so I can select like the letter S and I can go ahead and tweak what this letter S does. Maybe I want the letter S to click C instead. And if I mouse over this, you can see that it says S registers as C rather than S. And if I scroll down, there's a whole bunch of different options here that we can choose from. There's editing things like enter, escape, backspace. There's symbols. There's typing modes like caps lock, scroll lock, functions. These are all going to be the F1 to 24, commands, print screen. That might be actually pretty useful if you want a macro to quickly screenshot something in your game or just on screen in your browser. Navigation, these are going to be your standard navigation keys, arrow keys, number pads. So basically most of the keys here, they all exist and these are all the options you can choose from. Now if we scroll back to the top here, you can see that there's also macros, media buttons, which you can do like mute, next, play, pause. Macros we'll get into a sec here. Device functions, this is like brightness up, brightness down for your actual computer. Mouse buttons is going to be like scroll up, scroll down and all of the buttons on your mouse. Deactivate is just going to deactivate the key. So if I click done, you can see that there's a little gray bubble next to it. And that just basically means the key no longer does anything when you click it. The deactivate is going to be pretty useful if you want to disable maybe the Windows keys while you're in a game. That way you don't accidentally open the menu and things fly in your face and distract you. If we scroll past deactivate, there's things like launch application. So you can go ahead and click add an application and you can navigate to say like your browser or game calculator. Then there's also also launch configuration, which is basically how you change profiles. And you can see in the configurations menu that there's configurations for the keyboard shortcuts and configurations for the light. And you can see my new profile I made here called Kobatech. And then if we click launch engine apps, here are going to be some of the apps that you can actually launch like Dota, you can launch CSGO, you can launch Discord, a lot of different things. OS shortcuts, this is going to be common things like copy, paste, cut, undo, redo. This is going to be more for the people who are using this for productivity. Mac OS shortcuts, so this uh, Steel Series software is compatible with Mac, so you get all of the Mac settings as well. And then you also have Windows shortcuts, and that's basically that. And then record macro, let me, you can click that if you want, but I wouldn't really do that on the fly. I mean, it's up to you whether you need that or not. But what you can do is you can record your own macro in the menu here. You can click this button here where it says record macro. And now another window pops up, and this just basically shows that we can now go ahead and type something and start recording. So if we click at the start button, I can do something like control shift G and it records the whole sequence right there. And I can go ahead and click stop. And now you can see it says the down arrow. I pushed it down 
and then I lifted it up over here. And then about half a second went by, I clicked the left shift button, another half second went by, and then I pressed the G button. And then here, the up arrow means I let the keys go. Now you can customize these by right clicking on here and clicking edit. And maybe instead of left control, you meant to do the alt tab. So now it updated to left alt tab. And you can also update the timing if you want it to happen faster or slower. Let's say half a second is too slow. We need this to happen within 100 minutes milliseconds which is basically 10 percent of a second and now you can see it all clicks within 10 milliseconds i'm gonna go ahead and revert this but that's basically where you edit macros and then over here you have a settings button which basically allows you to choose your location now this button at the top right of the keyboard is going to be a pause and play button and you are not allowed to update that in the software unfortunately and the dial here is going to be a volume knob and you're not allowed to adjust that either so this concludes the run through for the software with the Steel Series Apex 9 keyboard. If you want to see my full review on this keyboard where I cover the hardware itself, I'm going to leave a link to that video right up here. So be sure to click that to learn more about it. And if you want to see more content like in this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.